Yeah. So iterative refinement is basically, you know, starting with, with an initial conversation or an initial uh, prompt, and then basically using the, the response to kind of like naturally um, ask for it to kind of tweak and adjust what it came back with. So the, the example here is, is a perfect example of, um, I'm going to share my screen where it's like, you know, I'm going to open up Outlook. Outlook's another perfect place to do this type of example where you're saying like, um, let's draft, oh, here we go. So if we do like draft with Copilot, I'm going to make this bigger. And I said like draft an email announcing a new store opening for, you know, for our coffee shop, for our coffee shop. And I hit generate. Um, this is another place where uh, Outlook has kind of built it into the interface as well. So we're excited to announce the opening of our thing. You know, this is great. But what I want to do is I want to add something to it. I want to refine it a little bit. And Microsoft kind of invites you to do that. It used to be that what you would do is you would like click on the actual prompt and have to add it. Recently, Microsoft added an anything you want to change box. So they're inviting you to iteratively refine it. So what you can say is, I want you to add an invitation to a tasting event that we're going to have. So I'm going to add that. And then it's going to rewrite it, incorporating that refinement into it. So this is the idea of iterative, iterative refinement, where it's like, yeah, that's good, but you know, add this or change this little tweak. Um, another place where you kind of are doing iterative refinement is in uh, Microsoft PowerPoint as well. You get a bunch of slides, and then you ask Copilot to like add three slides about this or add three slides about that. Um, that, that's the idea of like, you know, refining a little bit, uh, onto it. So you can see here, um, don't miss this opportunity. Uh, we want to invite you to a special tasting event, right? Where you can enjoy a free cup of coffee. Um, so I've refined it a little bit, or I've said like, I'll change this or change that, um, as well. So that's, that's a good example using like the email, uh, example that that's the where i use it the most i think a portion of what i was doing at innovation realized with our uh copilot and stream example was a little bit of iterative refinement where i was character limited in how what you know what my prompts could be so i was like saying hey okay we've got this recording give me 10 key takeaways and an executive summary and it comes back it's kind of like you know boilerplate it's kind of stuffy and it's just like giving you what you want it's like okay now I want you to rewrite that summary, but I want you to be like, you know, very positive. And I want you to pretend that you're, you know, like an event organizer who's excited and wants to, you know, pull out key themes, things like that. We'll put in the chat, like persona pattern. This is one where, where you can be like, okay, that thing was a little bit too stale that I got back. So I want to kind of like tweak it a little bit to say, you know, like, pretend that you're this person or pretend that, you know, that your audience is, is like a bunch of sixth graders, you know, L let's try again with that little tweak to it. That's the idea of iterative refinement and, and trying to get to what you want um, based off of the result. This is something that honestly, I, I feel like you kind of back your way into as a new prompter um, where you don't get exactly what you want but you get conversational with it and you start kind of like, like asking it to get to what you want, but you don't quite know what you want yet. You just want to like see where you can go. Um, I think that's a back end way of getting into iterative refinement. Yeah, I would agree with that. <clears throat> and the iterative refinement is how I fell into the conversational approach and then how I started work with working with some of the other techniques. Mm -hmm. just working with the, the same prompt over and over um, and making the small tweaks to it and seeing the outcome can be really, really time consuming. And I've done a lot of that on like with mid journey and working with like images. And then when I got over here into chat GPT and into copilot, I kind of started going into the direction of the 
um, conversational approach because I could guide the conversational approach a little bit better than I could iterate against a, a prompt over and over. Yeah, I like this comment from Daryl. Um, not just because he complimented me earlier, is uh, <laughs> the, it's the it's the shift from like instructor to director of like you know um, ra rather than like dictating commands, you're you're directing where you want it to go, but you're giving it the room to get there. You know.